On Wednesday, July 10th, Post 77 was at Hudson. Line up and the pitch. Breaking ball in there for a strike. And it looks like they have the run from first and a pickle. And the ball's thrown in to center field. And a run will score. 1 0 Post 77. Brandon Grover comes around to score on the errant throw. Down low, and here comes a run. 2 0 Post 77. Stewart's looking at uh, the dugout. That usually is a sign to the coach that. Mm, I don't have it today. Nope. The ball's going to really have to go to the backstop for Rankatori to score. Chaves set to deal. Bunt pulled back, and the throw up to third is going to go into left field. Here comes Rankatori. He's going to come try to score, and the throw in is off the mark. It's 3 0 post 77. An errant throw from Gerard. He's having a tough time. He's got but. two in scoring position with one out, four post 100. And this is up the left side, loved by the third baseman. He's going to chase down the runner heading home, and he, they got him in a pickle, and he's going to lay the tag. Did he get him? And, and now there's another runner in a pickle, the throw over to second, and the runner from third trying to score, and everyone's going to end up safe. And now there's an argument that one of the runners was out, and I think it was the runner that scored because he might have run out of the base path. So the runner that scored might have run out of the base path. The umpires are going to talk about it. The Hudson coaches arguing that he remained in the base path, and they're calling him safe, so it's a 3-1 to one game. And I think that call... And Jake Obed certainly not happy. Show a bit out there arguing his case. It's going to be runners at second and third. A run is in. Wind up and the pitch. And this is going to take a very slow roll. Up the middle, grab by the shortstop, flip to second for one. Throw to first, not in time, and a run scores. Four to one, post 77. And Grover will get the RBI. And Calabrese forced out. Ben Fink comes around to score. Good under. Chaves set to deal. And this is hit in the air up the right side, and it is going to drop in for a hit. Here comes one run into score, a second run being waved around. Balowitz is going to score, and it's going to be a two RBI triple for Cole Glassburn. A six to one lead for post 77. It varies. Usually you get. Five boxes. This is hit in the air over to left center. That'll drop in for a hit. Here comes one run to score. And the lead runner behind him is going to be stopped at third. It's a six to two ball game. An RBI double for Tyler Ogerholm. Here's the one out. And this is going to take a couple hops up the middle and get through into left field. And another run is around to score. An RBI single for Gerard. It's a 6-3 to three game. 1-0. And this is up the left side. Glove by the third baseman. Fink to throw home. They got the runner in a pickle. Back to Fink. And now Kavanaugh covering home. They get the tag on the runner heading home. Now the throw to third. And it's a double play. Unbelievable. What a way to get out of this inning. Hudson with an opportunity to do a whole lot more damage. And they get the double play of a lifetime. And that'll be an interesting one to score for sure. Well, I mean, it was a perfectly executed rundown by Fink. I mean, I mean, he faked out the run or something, but that was the play to make. Lennox set to deal. And this is hit in the air over to center field, and that is going to drop in front of the fence. Here comes Grover around to score. It's an RBI double for Dom Cavanaugh. Seven to three, post 77. Usually let the catcher run out as far as. There it is. And he gets a piece of this one into left field. It goes. Here comes another run around to score. The throw is cut off. And post 77 has played it at another run. It's eight to three. 
as Dom Cavanaugh comes around to score on the RBI single by Sean Jewett. Crash his high school coach because he already graduated. Balowitz is going to send this one up the right side. It's bobbled by the second baseman. In the right field it goes. Here comes the lead runner. And yet another post-77 run will score. Drew Rankatori comes around to make it a 9-3 game. Drew it up to third. And Balowitz reaches on the second error of the inning for post-100. There's ball four, and another run will come around to score. It's a 10-3 game. Hey, up. And this is going to be hit up the middle. It takes an awkward roll. Everyone's safe. A run will score. Still only one out here in the sixth as this is hit in the air over to left field. Nope. And that is going to drop in for a hit. One run is in to score, and it's a 12-3 game. RBI single for Calabrese, and post 77 on a roll. That'll break. And this is hit high in the air over to center field, and it is caught. Runner from third going to tag. The throw in is a good one, but it's off the mark, and another run scores. It's a 13 3 ball game. So Brendan Grover with the RBI sacrifice fly out. And Kavanaugh gets a piece of this one over to left field. And that is going to drop just in front of the fence. One run is in. Here comes another run trying to score, and he will. And that is going to be a two RBI double for Dom Kavanaugh. And this is hit in the air over to left field. And see, did that go out? No, it dropped just in front of the fence. A run is going to come in to score. Lawrence Tang has his first hit as a member of post 77. That's going to, oh, the umpire is chewing both dugouts out. I don't know what was said. Did you hear what was said? And this is hit in the air over to right field, and it is going to drop foul. Oh, if he took second base right there, Fair. that would have been. No, Ugly. that was fair. Fair Excuse ball. Me. Fair ball. All right. It's out of my sight line, but it is indeed a fair ball, so a single for Jewett. Ashland had an 11 run six inning and pulled out the 17 3 Mercy win. Some of the Hudson players weren't too happy after the game. Post 77 improved to 11 0 on the season.